Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them, them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get more exclusive content, early access to my podcast, and you can also help out an underprivileged artist. So do check that out. And also, you can find my podcast on all the podcast places. This one is actually a request from one of my patrons, Corey. Hey, we've been chatting about this and I'm excited to listen. And it sounds very Shakespearean. Ooh, noisy audience. Yeah. Wow, listen to the audience. I'm impressed with the audience, they're so tuneful. Riffs as well from the audience. His voice is so solid, so easy listening, and I, as I say, I'm really impressed by the audience. Actually, like a, a lot of people aren't so good at rhythm or pitching, but it's less than you think. So people think like, oh, I'm tone deaf, but really, it's something like four or five percent of people that actually are tone deaf or who are really really struggle to hear pitches most of the time people just have some issues in terms of maybe placement so by placement I mean where the sound feels in the voice or using the voice efficiently and once they've worked out the efficiency of the voice the pitching kind of comes along with it because they can hear it Big ol's uh, G sharp there. They went for it. I feel like I'm in Robin Hood. It's like Robin Hood is Merry Men. The Merry Men being the audience. I'm clapping in time. I am very impressed. You always find this with um, bands that are like real good musicians because real good musicians are really attracted to them, um, that the audience are just great. Like I went to see a Pentatonix gig and all the audience could sing because it was an audience full of singers. So they were singing along to things and I was like, this sounds beautiful. We all know the harmonies. that many people clap it's like uh like a bug like a sea and enemies it's a good rest for him isn't it Got great control over distortion for sure. So what the key to getting like a good tone like this? Because uh, he's got this beautiful full resonant tone is full chord closure, which also is kind of to do with breath. If you put too much breath through, then your vocal cord is going to pop open and you're going to get a breathy sound like, oh, it's going to be really hard to get power behind it. But actually you want this full chord closure. Sometimes you need less breath than you think. So if you're getting a really breathy, airy tone, try try putting a little bit less breath through. 
and then try making a really horrible noise, like an ah, ah, wah, wah. See if you can make that really resonant and loud without putting too much effort in. It feels really counterintuitive, but it feels like you're putting in less effort when you get it right, because you feel like you should put in more effort to get a bigger output, but actually the key to efficient voice is putting in less effort for maximum output so you're not blowing out your vocal cords all the time. I think there's a few people putting a little bit of effort in the audience. It's still pretty high though. All these scoops off the ends of the phrases. No, no. So easy. Great mix. That would be fun to be there to sing along. It was loads of fun. I really enjoyed it. And his voice was solid, but so was the audience's. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.